Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're looking at how you can retouch 360 pictures. Now we shot a lot of 360 imagery, including this one, which was actually shot on my uh, DJI Mini 4 Pro. Uh, this uh, 360 image above Solbona in Italy. And if we just come out of this one and go into one of these street scenes. So this was shot with the uh, Insta360 X4 and I absolutely love the quality this camera gives and I think it's really interesting to put 360 images on your website uh, which I have done on my travel site so here's another image and you might notice that I am not present in these pictures so of course in today's video we are going to be retouching the tripod or myself out of these images so I'm going to show you how we go ahead and do this so let's come out of that let's just close this window all right so this is the Insta360 uh, X4. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the SD card out. So to do that, you have to uh, take the battery out first, and then the SD card is located inside here. So we just take that out. And then what we need to do is import these images, obviously, onto our computer. So I have a micro SD card adapter, and I'm going to put that in there. Then on my Mac Studio, I'm going to insert it into the card slot in the front of the computer there. So you'll see in a second that that card will mount on the desktop. So what we need to do is um, select the image we want to work on. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up uh, Insta360 Studio. Now you can download this for free from their website. I'm not going to show you how to do it, but I'll put a link in the description so you can go ahead and download that yourself if you haven't done already. Now, obviously this is just for the Insta360 cameras. Uh, there'll be a dedicated app, I'm sure, for your 360 camera. All right, so the software has now opened, 360 Studio. So we now need to locate the file we want to retouch. So what we're going to do is open files. We're going to locate that card, which is the untitled card here. And then we're going to go into the camera roll, and I'm going to select all these images. So I'm going to scroll down, hold down Shift. I've selected the first one at the top here. You can see there. Scroll down to the bottom, holding Shift, click the bottom one, and it selects all. Now, it's going to load those files in. I did shoot both JPEG and RAW. So this is the JPEG image which we're going to export out of Insta360 Studio. So to do that, we need to go up to Export, which is up in the top right-hand corner here. So we're going to click on that. We are going to click on Export 360 Photo, which is here. Don't export Reframe Photo because that's going to export it cropped as you see it on the screen now. So don't export it like that. So we want to click on Export 360 Photo and it will give the resolution size there. We don't need to adjust anything. It's going to send it to wherever you want it to go. And I have asked it to be saved to the desktop, which I think is the default place for it to be sent to anyway. So you get a little alarm go off that tells you it's been exported. So we can close Insta360 Studio now. So we then have our 360 JPEG on the desktop. Now, what we need to do is drag it into our copy of Affinity Photo 2, which I have down here. Now, Affinity Photo 2 is the only program I can find at the moment that can retouch 360 images. You used to be able to do it in Photoshop, but you can't do it anymore. So, which in a way, Affinity Photo 2, it works out a little bit better because you don't have to pay for a subscription and yeah, Adobe's getting very expensive now. So, all right, let's do this. So here I am at the bottom of the picture and I want to retouch me out. So we go to layer and then we go down to live projection and we want to go to an equate rectangular projection. Now that's quite a mouthful. So we click on that and then it gives us the whole 360 image live. So we can see me at the bottom of the picture there. And then to retouch me out, looking for the healing brush, which is here. So normally by default, it comes up with a healing brush tool. It will look like that. And it's located here on the tool palette on the side. So you want to click on that, hold it down, and then scroll down to in painting brush tool. Now, if your brush is small like this, you can literally just click on here, on this key here, and that will reduce or enlarge your brush size. Finding our ideal brush size, we then want to just paint over what we want removed. So I'm painting over myself here, including the shadow. And hopefully it will remove me without having to do much more work. Sometimes you have to go in and refine things, but hopefully on this, as you can see, it has done a really good job removing me and 
filling in the background with all these um, uh, paving stones, etc. So next thing we need to do is we finish that. So we go back to layer, we go to live projection again, remove projection. So we need to then just export this back to the desktop. So we're gonna go down our menu here, file, export. We're gonna select JPEG in this pull down menu here, and then we're gonna go export, save to desktop. I'm gonna replace the file that's already on the desktop. I'm gonna hide Affinity Photo. So this is our picture that we have now retouched. And just to confirm that I'm now retouched out of that image, let's go back into 360 Studio. Let's find the image on the desktop, full screen that. And there we go, I'm removed out of that picture. It is as easy as that. I know this took a little while, but I wanted to go through it slowly because um, a lot of other channels sort of go through things quite quickly. So I hope that was of some help. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Please ring that bell if you'd like to be notified of future tutorials. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.